Well, you have your choice of some gorgeous views out there uh, as we go throughout this afternoon on the Lakeshore areas, all the way from Marblehead Lighthouse up to Lakeside. And uh, look at all those boats out and about at Putin Bay Harbor. Same case out in Sandusky. You got some beautiful views along the lake for this afternoon. And as you look at radar and satellite across our area, well, it's still dealing with some uh, showers and storms just east of into eastern Ohio. Uh, but of course, back into northern Indiana, same case. We take a closer look throughout northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan. Most of our area all clear. We'll bring it near the Indiana Michigan line. Starting to see some showers and storms roll in uh, just uh, at least west of Angola, making its way into Williams County within the next 30 minutes or so. We take it down to the lakeshore areas. They see a few showers and thunderstorms near Sandusky and Tehran, but those are moving off to the lake as we go throughout the next couple of minutes. As we widen the picture out and look at those current temperatures, yeah, it's a warm day out there. Temperatures right around 85 degrees in Toledo, out in Wauseon, 86 degrees, a warm 88 degrees out in Fremont, same case in Finley and Upper Sandusky, where we are into the mid 80s. As we look towards your Wednesday, we'll still see some mixed clouds and sunshine, where temperatures will be back into the mid 80s with a few scattered thunder showers on the way for your Wednesday. As we uh, go throughout 12 p.m., we'll be right around 79 degrees, warming up into the mid 80s by the afternoon and evening hours of Wednesday. Now, to time out your hour by hour forecast for the next couple of days, but eventually, as we head throughout tonight, we'll still have the chance for a few ice isolated showers heading towards your Tuesday night as you cross over into your Wednesday. Likely going to be our best chance for some showers and storms as we go throughout your Wednesday afternoon. We'll still see a few light isolated showers at throughout Wednesday morning, but likely that best chance of some showers coming around 4 p.m. and just into the afternoon and evening hours of Wednesday. And likely by Wednesday night, we'll be all clear of those rain showers. Now, it has been a very wet year so far, and we're just around 28 inches as far uh, to year to date with those uh, rain showers and uh, right around at least eight inches above average for this time of year. And typically we see that average right around 19 inches. Now, as you look at that grill cast over the next five days, oh, you are good to go to fire up. Just make me make sure uh, before you uh, do fire it up, send me an invite on the way. But at least by Wednesday, you may want to have some caution as we'll have some scattered showers out there. But as we head towards uh, closer to the weekend, by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, oh, gorgeous conditions to fire up that grill as we head towards the weekend. Now, as you look at that extended forecast, still have those scattered storm chances on the way for your Wednesday, mid 80s, a lower humidity on the way for Thursday into Friday, lower 80s, and eventually for the weekend. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a summer filled weekend with brilliant sunshine on the way for your Saturday. Back into Sunday, we're starting to warm up into the upper 80s. And we even got some 90s on the way as we close out July with a few storm chances and temperatures in the lower 90s for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Back into Thursday and Friday, we'll be into the upper 80s for the first few days of August.